Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to test the duty cycle on a M103 engine. Uh, these are typically found in Mercedes, the W124 body style, uh, years between 86 and 93, I believe was the last year for this engine. Anyhow, the car that we're looking at today is the 1993 uh, S124. It's a station wagon, and uh, but it should apply to just about any 300E or 300TE. So to test your duty cycle, you want to look at your driver side fender, and you want to find uh, this round port. This is called the X11 port. You want to unscrew the cap and you'll expose a set of uh, ports that you can plug into. So what you want to do is get your red lead and stick it in port number three. And then you want to get your black lead and stick it in port number two. If I could do that. Perfect. So you want to make sure they're kind of snug in place, but it's really not that important as long as they're there. It's important to have a voltage tester that has the ability to read duty cycle. Now all voltage testers are different. You have to make sure that yours can in fact read duty cycle. It'll usually be indicated by a HZ or it'll say duty or it might have a percentage sign. Any one of those will probably read it just fine. So we're going to turn it on. And of course, we got a reading of zero right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the key to the run position, but we're not going to start the engine. And we're going to see what reading we get. Okay. So under normal circumstances, you should get a reading of around 70. Mine happens to be reading 66, which is whatever, it's fine. Uh, if you have a California car, you'll get a reading closer to 85. Uh, that's perfectly normal too. That just means that your car was originally delivered to California and it has a different, slightly different emission system. Uh, this engine is already kind of warm, um, so it'll only take a few minutes for it to go into closed loop mode. And we should get a reading when the engine is running and running in closed loop of you know, ideally between 50 and 60, um, but as long as it's oscillating, uh, that means that your car is running in closed loop mode and that the computers are, or the computer rather, is running uh, as designed. So let's start the engine and let's see what happens. Okay. So right now, uh, it's still running in open mode but in a few seconds hopefully uh, the computer will kick in and it should start oscillating or running into closed loop mode as long as it's running in closed loop mode then that means that everything is functioning as it should and that you should uh, have a fairly well running engine but if you don't get this closed loop mode, like you see now, it just turned, it just closed loop. And it's oscillating between uh, about 71 to 65. That's an indication that my car is running, I believe a little bit lean or rich. I'm not really 100% sure which way it is. Uh, typically the lower the percentage, it's either running lean or rich or the higher percentage is running lean or rich. I'm not really 100% sure each way, but um, as long as you're achieving this closed loop cycle, then that means that your oxygen sensor is functioning, that your computer is functioning, that your uh, temperature, your um, coolant temperature sensor is functioning properly, and that the car is actually trying to run as efficiently as possible. Now, my car probably needs an adjustment here or there, um, but I'm pretty satisfied with the way it's running, so I'm not gonna make any adjustments to it. Uh, one thing that's really important with these cars is regular tune-ups. Uh, spark plugs I do every year. I typically will change the cap 
rotor uh, every two or three years and then I change the ignition wires about every five years. Uh, another thing that's really important is to use the best quality ignition parts that you can. Um, I kind of spent the big bucks and bought genuine Mercedes parts. I find that they last the longest and um, you know they typically hold up you know I don't have to change them every six months or so. If you buy cheaper brand stuff you know you might be changing them more often or they might fail you know within a month of installing it and uh, you know you're just constantly changing caps rotors and stuff and, and that's no fun so anyhow that's closed loop cycle that means that everything's running pretty well um, I typically uh, get about 17 miles to the gallon in this car which is pretty normal. I do use the air conditioning a lot. Uh, this car is a 4 and uh, I also uh, have quite a bit of stuff in the back. I don't know if you could see. Um, I use this car for appliance service, so I got quite a bit of weight in the back uh, at all times, so that does affect my mileage as well. Um, the only way, in my opinion, to tell if your engine is running well is to do a mileage check. So every time I fill up, I reset my odometer and I check my mileage. Uh, on a car like this, ideally you want to be somewhere between 15 and 20 miles per gallon. Uh, if you have a sedan version, your mileage will probably be a little bit better, probably 20 to 25 miles per gallon on a properly running M103 engine. Uh, if you're getting anything less than that, something's wrong, uh, you probably should start with a tune-up spark plugs, cap rotor wire. Uh, another thing that's really important is to make sure that your um, vacuum system is tight. This particular car has quite a bit of emissions related vacuum uh, tubing. It has an EGR valve, it has a smog pump. Uh, your older cars may not have any of this stuff so your vacuum system is going to be a lot more simple. But uh, you know, basically you want to, you know, unplug them one at a time and, and if you have a mighty vac, you could check for vacuum and, and make sure everything is holding nice and tight. Um, a lot of these older rubber connections, they'll get dry and uh, they'll start to leak air and that'll cause a whole uh, slew of poor running and, you know, hesitation and, and terrible gas mileage. So. Uh, one thing that's really important is to check your vacuum system and also make sure you do regular tune-ups. I change my spark plugs every year. In fact, I just changed my spark plugs the other day. And so you can get an idea of what a good running M103 spark plug should look like is something like this. Definitely not the best, but we're definitely within, within the realm of good. And these spark plugs are about two years old, so um, I kind of skipped the change interval. I was busy having kids and all that good stuff. So, um, But that's about what you want to see. If your plug is all black and fouled up, that means that you're either burning oil or you're running really too rich. And uh, you need to address that issue accordingly. Uh, in another video, I will try and uh, help you diagnose a little bit more if you're having specific issues with your uh, system not going into closed loop uh, but that's a video for another time this is just a basic test you know just how to hook up your voltage tester and see what's going on and this will give you a better idea of what's going on with your engine and how to proceed from there thanks for watching guys and uh, look out for the next video okay